Hi guys, I want to show you six ways you can avoid scammers. Six ways you can avoid not to be scammed by those people. They are everywhere. And their means of scamming you most likely inevitable. They can devise enemies to scam anybody. But here we are going to discuss the most common styles they use to scam people. So when you are conversant with this, at least you are seventy percent protected from this scam. Do you know that scammers are not illiterate? Most of them are learned. Most of them went to school. When technology is advancing, those guys are also advancing in their own way of breaking into those technologies. So, don't think that because your technology or what you're using is an improved technological gadget, don't expect that those guys will not break in or come to you. But there are still things you have to do to avoid those guys getting to your devices or any of your channel. Number six on this list will shock you. So watch to the end of this video. Number one, do not respond to all messages that come to you either via WhatsApp or any other means or through your social media platform. It's not all messages that you respond to. If you see a particular person keep on spamming you with a particular message, find a way to block that person. Do not even respond to the person. Once you respond, they will find a means to engage you with messages. From there, they get into your personalities. Number two, you have to avoid unnecessary links. There are links that are phishing, that are created. When you click on it, they will gain access to your, your gadget. Sometimes, there are stubborn links that will display on your page that will not allow you to create and do whatever you were doing before the links appeared. What you do, if it's not closing, that particular page, the app you're working on, or the particular page you're working on, shut it down and restart it again. That link will disappear. Do not take the option by clicking on the link, hoping that when you click the link, it will ease you to gain access to what you've been doing before. Avoid clicking on phishing link. Number three, you have to design or find a way to double secure your account or any of your social media page or any of your page. That's why Google designed two-factor verification. If you don't know what two-factor verification, you can put it on the comments and I will give you, I'll do a video about that, how you can protect any of your app or device with two-factor authentication. Number four is this. Do not disclose your personal information, your secret information to the public, to anybody around you. Your ATM pin, you keep it guide. But many people still give their ATM pin to their kids to go and buy something outside in the shop and merchants. But do you know the kind of people they are going there to meet? Do you know the person that will be attending to your child? So, if you must do that, find another account that you don't have enough. Then now let's talk about number five. There's an instance where they will ask you to join a group. Immediately you join that group, someone from the group messages you. Okay? And the person is not the person that introduced you to the group. He's joining the group because he knows there are a lot of people that are very anxious to get what that group want to offer. So they will look for a device, a means to leverage on those people. So when someone message immediately you join a group, avoid that person. And the last but not the least, don't be too greedy. Imagine someone introduce a business to you that you should pay 5,000 naira and gain 1 million naira, 500,000 naira. You are paying 5,000 naira and someone is offering you 100,000 naira. That's greedy. And you didn't do anything. There's no work involved. All it's only asking you to do is just to pay the money. And maybe probably they will ask you to click on one or two links and share. That is great. Don't accept. Such people discard them from your page.